Another day, another nonce is revealed. The BBC, the company funded by the government in order to tell us the news and not biased and one-sided in the slightest, has been forced to create articles regarding new allegations over an explicit photo. Now, this is just not surprising, I'm sure it's for many of you, because the BBC is riddled with people who need getting rid of. Now, the funny thing was, if you remember Gary Lineker, he was forced out of Match of the Day, which if you don't know is like the football highlights, and he is probably one of them who was lucky enough they were forced really to bring him back but look what I find hilarious about this whole situation currently they've not named the person so what that does is it creates this mystery they allow it it's almost like a, a drama series for them this is like watching Game of Thrones the first episode BBZ presenter oh my god BBZ presenter who is it it could be anyone you know I was on Twitter and there's all these allegations going towards random people which is not good people are saying it's Ryland which you know, you can't say who it is because no one has a clue. So back to this, an unnamed BBC presenter, which is just shocking. They need to stop this. This isn't a drama series where we want it drip feeding to us. We want an answer. Now, who is the person with these allegations by the son of all newspapers, the son as well? Let's go into the story. The uh, teenager apparently was paid for sexually explicit photos. Uh, he sent him a message pictured in his underwear saying, ready for my child to perform. So just to clarify, he's well aware where he's a child he's even got evidence saying ready for my child so this guy's a real scumbag someone who deserves to probably be put in a turkish prison for the rest of the life and let's see how long he lasts in there so they were apparently 17 when the payment started now this is just incredible in absolutely fucking nuts so someone the presenter who we don't know who it is again apparently paid 35,000 35 so someone paid more than the average yearly salary of a normal person just for explicit photos over three year period so the man's been doing it for three years. Now, what is really crazy is it's the mother who's told the newspaper. It's not the person, it's the mother. So clearly she's found out somehow. God knows how that's happened. And the worst part is the mother told uh, that the, the kid is now 20, so he's now uh, an adult, uh, that he's used the money from the presenter to fund his crack cocaine habit, which is disgusting. So not only has this boy, this man, been forced to sell explicit photos for money to a celebrity who he probably thought, you know, he could have been groomed, he could have been forced to do it. We, we don't know I mean 35 grand yes whatever but even so this guy is probably an older man much older man as well you know maybe let's look at the BBC presenters they're all probably over 35 aren't they not many under and he was paid 35 grand for it now the mother is clearly very concerned because whoever this is must be a big deal someone very high up in the BBC this isn't going to be someone who presents the, the midnight news or anything like this this is this is a, a you know a celebrity anyone from Graham Norton to Ryland who knows who it is now I'm not saying that's them but I'm, I'm just giving you the scale of this I, I i don't believe it's them i have no idea who it could be because once again they've thought of this as a tv show and a way of creating hype let's make as many articles on this this poor kid who felt lost and had no choice but to sell himself in order to get money to to fund his crack cocaine habit is disgusting but yes the family uh is reported they became frustrated that the star remained on air so clearly i presume they went to the bbc they spoke to them and explained this is what's happened so the bbc spokesperson which is probably someone we've never heard of we treat any allegations very seriously and we have processes in place to proactively deal with them well not very good processes because uh, the person's still on air even though you know who it is so look I think it's disgusting I think there's paedophiles within parliament as well who are still in in power I'm not going to get into that so as part of this we receive information that requires further investigation or examination we will take steps to do this so it's just a load of nonsense they're just spewing shit this is just chat GPT control C control V stick it print it out on dad's printer and we'll speak it out it's disgusting so the family alerted the corporation and then went to the sun incredible so the conservative mp which by the way don't forget the government fund the bbc so who knows how much of this bs you can trust it's vital that tv companies have in place the right systems and processes to ensure their stars who have disproportionate power and influence of lives careers of it don't abuse it see this isn't the first time for example jimmy savile i know it was a long time ago but he got away with it that's one person who got away with it and if you watch the documentary on netflix which i seriously suggest you do it's mind-blowing it will show you just how much he got away with now here's another article and again top presenter has been taken off air see poor rylan is getting presumed uh, you know due to maybe him being gay i don't know or, or or being someone who's open about being gay he's getting potential hate see this is the bbc and the sun's fault this is disgusting see gary lineker certainly ain't me hate to disappoint the haters this isn't the way to do things his name should be out in the open and say he's being investigated especially when they have proof they have evidence they have text messages they have probably the pictures as well i don't need to see that
that. See, this is the problem. The BBC are covering their own skin. They don't want to say who it is. Let's try not tell people who it is. We'll just get rid of them. We'll do it quietly, discreetly. No one has to know. We'll just keep them over there, put them in the naughty corner for a year, and people will forget, and then we'll bring them back, and we'll go on air. 30, 35 grand! Bro, some people are fucked up in this world. Say they've called a, an emergency meeting, which means fuck all, mate. It means a sweet FA. It means bollocks. See what the sky has to say. The idea that... You know, some presenters think that they act with impunity and they can get away with these sorts of things. It does call into question the the uh, the. So by the way, this is Rachel Reeves, who is uh, someone in Parliament. She's the Labour shadow chancellor. They were accused of sexual misconduct, and then they were not taken off air. How long these things take, and the BBC, but also other broadcasters, do need to get a grip because we seem to lurch from one scandal to another. See, this is it. As soon as one gets over the line, another one pops up. Disgraceful. What was it last time? Philip Schofield was there, which I made a video about. You know, I don't want to make these videos. Timing is important, isn't it? Um, because according to this woman, she, compla she complained to the BBC in May. Complained in May. We are in July. We are in July, fellas. May to July is 60 days. Presenter in question then stayed on air. For weeks after. I think that's the concerning thing. That someone makes a complaint, a very serious complaint, and then puts on the telly the next night. See, and, and they clearly have evidence, you know, we've seen them what they were texting. I, again, I said it earlier, don't need to see the pictures, but as long as they have pictures. Do you think then that because presenters are in the public eye, in some ways they're public figures, that they should be held to a different standard then? What a thick question that is. No, everyone should be treated the exact same. If you're a nonce or you are accused and there's evidence, you know, I'm I'm talking evidence here. I don't believe in false accusations. And goddamn, you should be taken off air and you should be put on live TV, strapped to a chair and forced to explain yourself. Let's see how good your presenting skills are then. Do you think uh, that the individual should be named? We've seen other presenters having to come out to say that it's not them, for example. I'm not totally sure um, about that because you can get vexatious. Of course they should be named and shamed. What an absolutely ridiculous thing to do. That infuriates me. This person has got proof, evidence, not only 35 grand transactions, but also ruining this guy's life and getting him hooked on crack and probably other stuff and you're telling me no we won't name them it's wrong it's because they're trying to cover it up doing these things quickly they shouldn't drag on for months uh, months uh, the bbc or whoever the um the employer is needs to quickly do these investigations and take the appropriate action and I'm not convinced so far that that's happened in this case. Do you think there should be a police element to this as well? Um, if you look... Should there be a police element? <gasps> I don't know. What do you think? Look, this is just ridiculous, isn't it? Of course the police need to be involved. Sexual exploitation. If this was a normal person, the police would already be involved, wouldn't they? The police would be at their door. And they would be in a prison cell. But because this is the BBC, they're trying to do everything they can in order to keep this quiet. I think this is disgusting. They're, they're treating this like it's a game. Let's create as much suspense around this as possible. We're not going to tell you who it is so you can speculate and, you know, create stories up about people and celebrities that have, you know, these presenters have to come out and say, oh, it wasn't me, oh, it wasn't me. That's wrong. The people who aren't involved in this are getting involved in it now because it's the entire corporation. The whole entire BBC is flawed and we're seeing it now, presenter after presenter, person after person, getting exposed for being a bad person and it's wrong and it needs addressing properly and the best way to do that by not dancing around the fire place not sure who is who they need naming and they need evidence putting out there so people can see it and oh but they'll get witch hunted blah 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 who cares you've made your choice you've made your bed you know what you've done if you're okay doing it and spending 35 grand on explicit pictures and i do not give a fuck about what happens to you from now on i hate to break it to you but i do not i think that's it shocking stuff but again no surprising i mean who, who is it who do you think it could be I, I suppose we got the evidence it was someone who was in a presenting in, in may and still was and it took the mother to go to the son in order for this to get released properly the bbc knew and didn't make anything about it don't forget about that anyway that's it see ya